Get off the camera. Get off the camera. Get off the camera. Stop. Um, so I used to stream at 0.8 megabits per second, which I think is about 20% of Twitch's minimum recommended speed. <laughs> and to be honest, I, I still had a watchable stream. It wasn't the highest quality, but it was still completely watchable. So rather than just showing you how to kind of set up how to stream with bad internet, I think it's more important to understand how video works basically, so you can optimize for your own needs, basically. <laughs> so the way video is transmitted, or, or at least data is stored is, data is created when a pixel changes color. So the more pixels you have and the more frames you have, the more data it's gonna use along with if there's more motion. So that, that's why this footage of little Mort here sleeping looks good at a low compression rate, but him running about and squirming uh, looks like a, a pixely mess. Just cause compression and pixels changing equals bad quality at low compression rate. What I'm saying is pixel quality is more important than the number of pixels you're sending out. So if you're using like 100 pixels at a high quality, that's better than using a thousand pixels at garbage quality. So there are a few things I did with my stream layout to effectively bump up the quality per pixel without changing my resolution. Cause I got as low as I could get at 360p, but I still need to improve my pixel quality. First thing I did was I added in these white bars at the top and bottom of my screen. Um, that effectively meant those pixels would never change. So no new data would ever be needed for those pixels, which meant higher quality for the rest of the image. And the other thing I did was I, I basically did a weird picture in picture for my entire stream. Rather than having gameplay full screen, um, I had it in a smaller frame, basically because gameplay moves a lot and my camera didn't. I'm, I'm not that animated in comparison to like, a game whipping about. So if I could limit the number of pixels moving, higher quality again. So if you can limit how much stuff's moving on your screen, you're gonna have higher quality. Boring tech stuff, the number of pixels you're pushing is made up of your resolution and your FPS. It's how many pixels every second you're transmitting. The higher the resolution, the more data you're sending. The higher FPS, the more data you're sending. It's really that simple. I think the best way to sort of find the max quality you can sort of stream at is starting low and then just slowly increasing quality. So I recommend, I think starting at garbage settings, I think 360p, 20 FPS, perfectly watchable. That's what I used to stream at and it was fine. People watched, it was it was all, it was all grand. I think people actually preferred the, the standard definition streams rather than HD. There was something there that I, I don't have anymore in HD. Keep it in your mouth. Dirty little sluts. So yeah, basically just, just slowly increase. I think once you get up to 480, pretty good. Then try and get up to 30 FPS. If you can hit that, try and move up to 720p. Keep it at 30. Once you hit that, 720, 60. Once you hit that, 1080, 60. And then that's, that's gold standard, right? That's gold standard. Another useful little tip, if you have internet that kind of drops in and out, is adding in a stream delay. I used to have like a 20 second stream delay because my internet was in and out all the time, but it meant when my internet did drop, there was like a 20 second buffer where it had to sort of re-catch up internet and then upload and catch up to itself, basically. Uh, so hopefully some of that was useful to you. Um, potentially, maybe you learned something. I know he didn't. He doesn't speak English. Stupid cat. <laughs>